Today we've got a problem from Princeton University's maths competition. We have a diamond B equals AB minus four times A plus B plus 20. We want to evaluate one diamond, two diamond, three diamond, and so on, up to 99 diamond, 100. This is a really interesting problem. We've got this weird operation of doing A diamond B, and we want to work out this very big, almost like a product here. Do have a go at this problem. I'm going to dive right in. There's a very neat trick to this. Let's firstly examine this diamond product we have here. So A diamond B is AB minus 4 times A plus B uh, plus 20. But this looks very tempting to factorize. In fact, it's not too difficult to, to factorize. It's just A minus 4, B minus 4 plus 4, like so. So it almost factorizes. But we get lots of 4s in here, which is interesting. You may not think much of it, but there's that's actually quite a clue here. What does this tell us? Well, this tells us that if I have A diamond 4, this is equal to, well, if I replace B with 4 in this, this bracket just becomes 0 and I get 4. Equally, if I have 4 diamond B, I get 4. So if 4 appears anywhere in my diamond operation, either on the left or on the right, the outcome will be 4. And so in particular, if I kind of use induction here, this means that um, A diamond B, that's an awful diamond, <laughs> diamond, okay, whatever that weird shape I've just drawn is, uh, 4, and let's say I put brackets here, this will equal 4, because this will equal 4, and then that will equal 4. Um, so kind of inductively here. And now, since in this product here, we have a 4, in fact, it's just the one that's hidden away here, every single thing when you do this expansion, either from the left or from the right, is going to end up boiling down to 4. And so this will equal 4.